Welcome everybody, I'm Fabio Viviani and you're watching Fabio's Kitchen where every week we'll bring you an amazing dish made by me. What are we doing today? We are doing spaghetti with cacio e pepe, which means spaghetti with cheese and pepper. Now, if my grandfather was here, these handful of spaghetti would have to be 10 times larger because this is my grandfather's favorite dish. And it's yet so simple. Literally, there is nothing on this counter but butter, some good Italian grana padano cheese, pepper, salt, and a little bit of broth. Because you could do this with the pasta water, but I want to add a little extra, little extra flavor, you know? You're watching me, you're not watching someone else doing it. We gotta add the little extra. Although this is a very simple dish, don't be fooled. The ingredients have to be super quality. Everything has to be top notch. Although the technique is not really a technique, because you really gotta cook pasta, melt butter, and mix cheese with it. If you have the proper ingredient, this dish will be a crowd pleaser for years to come. The first move that we have to do, you gotta cook. We gotta cook the pasta. Let me salt some water first. Good pinch of salt in the water. And then, we're gonna throw the spaghetti. You gotta do the fan technique. See this, what I'm doing? See that? So we are rotating the spaghetti like this, so when we drop them, they're gonna fan out, look. It is cool. You gotta admit that this technique is almost like a 3D movie. Now, the spaghetti, they will cook pretty fast. Four, five minutes, they're gonna be cooked. So let's get the sauce going. Of course, cacio e pepe is cheese and pepper, but we need a little bit of butter to bring everything together. And my little bit of butter, in this case, it's quite a lot, all right? So we got these, and we are melting the butter. At the same time, we add the good amount of pepper, remember, cacio and pepe. Then, we have our dish ready. Yes, I'm preparing the dish already because this is almost done. It's that simple. In Italy, this is the test for every chef that is serious about the career. If you overcook spaghetti in Italy, or if you cannot create an amazing sauce out of butter and broth, we will stab you in the neck with a fork, a dull fork, so it hurts more, all right? So here's what we do now. We twist the spaghetti in the water because we don't want the spaghetti to stick together. So we have to twist them a little bit and we have to move them around. In three minutes, literally, this will be cooked. Now I'm adding some broth to the butter. This will create an emulsion. You see, it's not oily anymore. It's more watery than oil now. Now we shut it off. And we literally have to wait three minutes more for the spaghetti. So let me give it another stir. While we're waiting for the pasta, I grab some wine, of course. What wine? Hello, Fabio Viviani wine, see? A little red blend, Cabernet Sauvignon, Pinot Noir. It will do marvelous with a little formaggio here in the pasta. Now, what I really wanna do, I wanna finish to cook the pasta in the sauce, in the beautiful sauce made out the butter and the broth. So here's what I'm going to do. Done. Finishing to cook the pasta in the broth will guarantee the creaminess of the dish as well as the pasta really absorbing the butter and the broth. Because remember, this dish, it's very hard to screw up. But if you do screw up, you're gonna have a puddle of oily, butter, melted butter, and the cheese is gonna be all curled up. Mm. 
What you're seeking for, it's gentle bubbles, like that. See that? This starch from the pasta, it's very important. It will help the butter and the broth coming together. See how the sauce is watering now? See that? Yep. See that? Yes. Now that is going to be absorbed by the pasta because the pasta is still nice and al dente. Once that is absorbed, few handful of good cheese, in this case we're using Grana Padano, and that's it. Game's over. And then we can eat pasta and drink wine like men do. As the sauce reduces, you see that the creaminess of the actual broth and butter will really come together. At this point, the secret is to shut off the fire and get your cheese game on. One good twist. One more. Look how creamy this is. Look how delicate and coated. This is really coated. Look at this. There is no liquid butter there. There is no, there is no fat. This is just a creamy sauce. The sauce, everything came together. Now, like if it wasn't enough, a little extra cheese on. Spaghetti, cacio e pepe. I'm gonna eat some. Nick, can I have a fork? I'm asking the fork to my producer. It's time it's doing something. Today, if it's possible. They're good for shooting shows, but grabbing forks, God, they suck at it. Seriously, right now, give me a fork. All right, thank you. All right. See, look, I wanna get the bottom of it. See how creamy it is, look at that. Look at this pasta, how nice and creamy it is. Man! Yeah, oh. Stupidest fork I've ever seen in my life. It's like a Barbie doll fork. All right. Literally, it's one of the simplest and most delicious dishes that anyone could possibly make. It's easy to execute, creamy, cheesy, the pepper, nice kick. Mm. I love it. I'll keep eating. You watch the next episode, Fabio's Kitchen, Spaghetti Cacio e Pepe.